This research paper presents a novel approach to enhancing the robustness of vehicle motion prediction models by leveraging the Frenet frame wrapper. The method addresses the generalization problem in trajectory prediction tasks by representing model inputs and outputs in a Frenet frame defined by lane centerline sequences. This allows for promoting lane following and reducing off-road predictions in challenging scenarios. The authors propose a general wrapper that can be applied to state-of-the-art models without altering their architecture. The method involves assigning the target vehicle to a lane centerline, identifying relevant lane centerline sequences, transforming the scene representation into the Frenet frame of each centerline, querying the prediction model, and forming the final set of output trajectories. The authors demonstrate that integrating state-of-the-art prediction models in a Frenet wrapper reduces off-road predictions by over 90%. The paper also discusses the evaluation of the approach on the Argoverse dataset and the scene attack benchmark, showing competitive results with Cartesian models in terms of displacement errors and off-road probability, with higher diversity in predicted trajectories indicating better adaptability to complex scenarios. The authors evaluate the robustness of their proposed Frenet wrapper on perturbed scenes, demonstrating its effectiveness in improving generalization capabilities. They observe that displacement errors and off-road probabilities increase drastically for Cartesian models when perturbing the scenes, whereas SD models are much more robust, with off-road probabilities only increasing by 2.5 percentage points. Neither dropouts in training nor removing the motion history entirely from the features make the models more robust. The SD models outperform all baselines by a large margin, resulting in a new state-of-the-art on the scene attack benchmark. Qualitative results show how SD models generalize seamlessly to perturbed scenes, whereas Cartesian models fail to adapt. The remaining off-road predictions of SD models are mostly caused by corner cases in the identification of relevant centerlines. The models partially compensate for this by also following other lanes than the reference lane of the coordinate frame. The authors present the results of their experiments in Table 2, which compares the performance of different models on perturbed scenes. The results show that SD models significantly outperform Cartesian models, with lower displacement errors and off-road probabilities. The authors conclude that representing the input and output of prediction models in the Frenet frame improves generalization to challenging scenarios by a large margin, reducing predicted off-road probability by over 90% on the scene attack benchmark. In the Evaluation Committee member's summary, the importance of integrating prediction and planning in deep learning-based autonomous driving systems is highlighted, referencing various papers including Rethinking Integration of Prediction and Planning in Deep Learning-Based Automated Driving Systems, a review. The summary explains the use of Multipath++ and Lane GCN models for trajectory prediction, and how they are evaluated with different centerline aggregation methods. It emphasizes the significance of accurate estimation of the prior over the lanes, citing the privileged prior model as an upper bound. The summary discusses the results of various ablations, including uniform prior, lane scoring, clustering, and greedy sampling, highlighting the improvements in displacement errors and miss rate achieved by these methods. Finally, the summary concludes by emphasizing the importance of selecting the optimal set of trajectories for accurate prediction and planning in autonomous driving systems.